This is a six-seater Tesla Model X Plaid. And my plan for tonight is to sleep inside. But Joel, how do you know it's a Plaid? This thing here looks different. This batch right here. And because... <laughs> because it's freaking fast. In fact, it only takes 2.6 seconds from zero to 100. Oh yeah, and also it has 1,020 horsepower. Oh my God. Woo. <laughs> Well, yeah, so I'm back at the windmill place. I've been here a couple of times to like, fly through a windmill with the drone, for example. No! Oh! No! I really enjoy this place because there are not a lot of people and you can just drive here by car. Look at this. So now the plan is to park next to a windmill and then I'm gonna show you how we can set up a bed inside of the six-seater. It's definitely gonna be a challenge. That's actually something on my bucket list. I really want to get up onto the top of a windmill and stand on the top. I heard that sometimes the doors are open. Yeah, of course. Why would it be open? If you have an idea of how I could accomplish that, let me know in the comments. Sometimes you can see the, the workers building them. And I was thinking that I might just go up to them and ask like, hey, can I come up? <laughs> or another thing, I just message the, the company and ask them very politely, like, hey, can I make a video where I go up with you? Yeah, maybe at some point. But this video is not about that. This video is about to sleep in the Tesla Model X flat, six seater. All right. That looks like a good camping spot. Well, now it's time to face that problem. So if you watched last week's video where I took delivery of the Model X, then you've seen that I just got my dream car like literally a week ago. But there is a problem. The middle seat right here, also called captain chairs, you cannot fold them down, which means they are in the way if you want to sleep inside here. So it is possible to fold down the back row here, but since I'm 192 centimeters tall, it's still not enough room for me. But we have this middle section here where I can put my legs through. So I built something that, yeah, you will, uh, you will see. <laughs> well, now you might think why I didn't get the five or the seven seater. Well, when I ordered this car, I actually ordered a five seater, but then Tesla changed their mind and they were like, okay, we're just gonna deliver the Plaid as a six-seater. And this was actually something that almost made me cancel the order. Because for me, obviously, it's really important to be able to sleep in the car. I wanna go on road trips, park the car, and simply sleep inside. But now with the six-seater, this is a little bit more complicated. But I'm confident that we can make that work. And yeah, I'm about to show you. So with the Tesla app, I actually can open each door from the phone, which is very cool. Also, the frunk. Oh, that's a loud noise. Here, there is no engine. <laughs> There's a lot of room and it's already a bit messy because yeah, I got the cables here. Oh, and this is actually one of the strongest flashlights there is in the world. I might can show you later. Okay, now you can see it better what I'm doing. Okay, let's fold down the seats. There's a button here. Oop. It's very cool because now you can fold it down. And now we move those forward here now they go to the front what i noticed and this is very important even though it looks like that this seat is all the way in the front it's actually not because first we need to move this seat forward as well for the driver's seat i actually have a driver's profile called bedtime and if i click it it automatically moves the seat all the way forward. And when that's the case, we can move this seat forward as well. 
and now you can actually see that this seat right here is actually still a little bit further back so we got to do the same over there move this seat forward so we can move this seat all the way to the front because it's important that we have as much room as possible back here i'm still not sure why tesla hasn't done that yet but for the passenger seat there's no option to create a driver's profile i'm sure they could do it because it's all just software related all right now so it looks like a lot of space but if i go in like this and then the problem is my legs i mean this is definitely annoying because for the five seater it would be like this so now we gotta figure out how we can level out this to over there so my legs are like this all right here's the plan so this right here is a bed from a company called dreamcase they make car beds unfortunately not yet for the six seater but i'm sure they will make one soon but for now i had to find another solution but i was still able to use their mattress because they have this really cool thing here they got legs <laughs> and i'll show you in a second what they are useful for but without them it would be even more complicated these are actually the pillows from the dream case bed yeah you can roll them like this and then you have a, a pillow but in our case we're going to use it for the middle section with this part right here two selfie sticks with a tape <laughs> yeah i made that by myself yeah thank you oh yeah also i need to mention the the dream case bed usually has four of those and you can fold it so it's like almost two meters long i think but what i did is i just removed one of those four so i have three and now this goes perfectly in the back here so obviously it's hanging down here but look at this we got those legs and you can actually extend them as well there's some kind of velcro so we can make them longer but in our case we can literally just put them down here like this and it's already strong enough and we have the whole platform from all the way in the back up to here so of course if you would sleep in embryo position like like this you would fit but in my case i like to sleep straight like this <laughs> so the only thing left to do now is this middle section okay so what we're gonna do we're gonna use those selfie sticks to bridge the gap here and then we use those pillows to put on the top what i've seen other people doing is that they have something that is inflatable and then they have like a big pillow in the middle here but uh, i don't want to inflate something all the time so i thought this would be a smart solution since we already have this arch here that is very strong so with the selfie sticks we go let, let me show you here's just velcro and we're just gonna release it a little bit and then put the selfie stick through and on this side we just have this black band that goes around now we're simply going to use one of those pillows and put it here and actually this was one of those pillows as well i cut it in half <laughs> so it fits in here look at this perfect i know that these are just selfie sticks so i wouldn't put my whole weight on here but since my upper body is in the back i'm just gonna have my legs here and just for my legs this should totally do it Three, two, one, two! <laughs> Magic trick! I also need to mention that it's crazy. Like, I'm wearing a sweater and it's beginning of January. Like, usually it has like minus degrees in Austria at this time. But I'm just chilling here with a sweater on. So here's good space for the shoes. But then it can go inside. Ah. Close this door. Yeah, okay, 
So, moment of truth. Ha. Yeah. <laughs> What's actually very cool is this window here. Like when I have my head here, I can look at the windmill the entire night. Or I can just watch stars, which is beautiful too. I was also talking with my girlfriend about that because obviously we want to sleep in here together. And having a second person in here, um, here, no problem. There's way enough room. So if her legs would go through here. So I'm not sure if this will work well, but I'm definitely want to give it a shot. Um, but yeah, if I'm just on my own, there should be enough room. Wow, look at the sunset. So amazing. Yeah, this makes me happy that this works out. I have a bed that probably even fits two people and I can continue going on road trips with this car as well and experience moments like this where you're just in the middle of nowhere with an epic windmill in the back spinning very fast. I'm looking forward to create a lot of amazing memories with the Model X. But now I'm gonna prepare some dinner, eat something, and then I will meet you back there once it's dark. It's also getting fresh now because the sun is about to go down. I need to get warm. Welcome to my crib. Actually, I removed this middle section for now so I can sit here. I did some work on my laptop and I noticed something very cool. Let me show you. Ah, come on, stand still. Nice. Um, sorry. So I believe they changed it on the refreshed Model X, but you can charge the laptop with the USB-C port that is in the car. And someone in the comments was actually saying that if you have a M1 chip MacBook, that this requires less energy, so you can charge it with the USB-C ports. But this is not an M1. And look at this. Did you hear the sound? I mean, now, of course, I wouldn't be able to edit a video because that requires a lot of power. And for that, it's too slow. But before I was just taking notes and writing some stuff and for that it worked well. And if I don't need the laptop and I just let it plugged in like this, it will charge. Because I was actually expecting that I would need this one. So this is a converter from a 12 volt that goes into like the, what is it called, like the fire plug thing. Uh, but with this I can charge the laptop. But in this case, I can just plug it in directly in the USB-C ports. Now, I'm gonna show you something that I mentioned earlier. Da, 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 da. This is one of the strongest flashlights on Earth. <laughs> okay, how to turn it on. Whoa, what mode is that? Ah, okay. <laughs> Actually, let's step outside. Yeah, wow. Crazy. Yeah, look, even over there. Yeah, it got, got very cold outside. Actually, what's the temperature? Yeah, so it's seven degrees Celsius. Well, it's still not really cold considering that it's winter, but definitely too cold to sleep in a car. Except this is literally something of the coolest things that Tesla has done. There is something called camp mode. And if you activate that mode, it will keep the temperature the entire night. Here's another question I actually get a lot. People are asking how much battery charge does it actually require if you have the camp mode on. Right now we have 359 kilometers of charge. So let's see how much that will change until tomorrow. So I'm actually not 100% sure yet which settings are the best to save battery. Maybe someone of you has some advice. I mean, I think we're not going on auto, which is gonna keep it on like the lowest fan speed. And then as for the temperature, 18? 18 degrees, no, let's, let's 
be a bit warmer, <laughs> 19 degrees. Yeah, let's see how much charge it will need until tomorrow. Okay, let's climb to the back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, all right. That might sound weird, but I'm a big fan of sleeping in cars. And since this is my dream car and I just got it like a week ago, I'm so looking forward to sleep in here as well. And I'm sure that this will be the first of many nights inside of this car. So yeah, excited to see what happens next. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Good night. Oh, hold on a second. I almost forgot the most important thing. So what Tesla also has is the, the bonfire. <laughs> Good morning. Look at this. <laughs> this is so epic. I literally opened my eyes when I woke up and I saw this. Yeah, uh, I slept okay. Uh, I was a little bit cold because, I mean, I was falling asleep with just the t-shirt on and I feel like I was too confident that the camp mode will keep me warm. And I think the problem with the camp mode is that the heating is only happening in the front and I'm all the way in the back. So my head or my upper body is a little bit colder back here than my feet would be because my feet, they were actually warm. <laughs> That's why in the middle of the night I put on my sweater and I increased the temperature. And now, moment of truth. How is the platform doing between the captain chairs? Yes, not perfect, as you can see. So this is definitely something that can be improved. I mean, it didn't work bad. I was sleeping comfortably most of the time, but then at some point I had to readjust this and put it back to place. So here's the interesting part for every one of you who's wondering how much charge it actually requires for the camp mode and to sleep inside. So here it is. So we got 305 kilometers left. Yesterday we had 359. So that equals, yeah, 55, no, 54 kilometers of charge that we used for tonight. And now this might sound a lot, but consider that it's only four degrees Celsius outside. And I put the camp mode on 22 degrees in the night because I was cold. So the heating definitely had to work a lot to keep myself warm. Also for 10 hours, I was having the camp mode on for 10 hours. This is how much battery it used for one night. But yeah, I'm also curious to know if you have experience with that, like what's the best settings to, yeah, to save charge. Hello. <laughs> Well, now I'm curious to know about your experience with sleeping in cars. Like, is there anything that you would recommend that I could do better? Or just share your experience with others. And I'm also going to link two other videos where I slept in the car. One of them being in the Model Y and the other one in the Volkswagen Passat during winter. So yeah, enjoy and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.